All morning long, we've been getting you ready for Preakness 149, the mm -hmm. 149th running of the second jewel of the Triple Crown. And we've talked about the horses, but what about the people who ride them? Jockeys are some of the fittest athletes in the world. Their job is physically grueling and often dangerous as well. Let's go back out to Denise, who's introducing us to one of these incredible riders. We can't wait to see this, Denise. Well, thank you, Sina and Tim. Only 8% of the jockeys working right now are women. And it wasn't until 1968 that a woman was actually licensed to ride in a thoroughbred race. Well, today, one of the top jockeys in the Mid-Atlantic region of either sex is a woman. She is Maryland's own Forrest Boyce. She is 39 years old. She's at the top of her game. She had 36 million in earnings, career earnings. That's a lot of money. And you might say, when you're coming out to the track, don't bet against her. This is how most of jockey Forrest Boyce's days begin, working a horse for a trainer. Today, trainer Alex White. Forrest is very relaxed, and so, you know, they sense that, you know, right away. Relaxed, but highly alert. A thoroughbred can reach a speed of 40 miles per hour. Take a good look at Forrest. Study her perched, seemingly still, yet moving rhythmically with the animal. It's all balance. And a little bit like dancing, like you need to move with the horse if you want to stay with the horse. <laughs> she felt good and you know, no, swapped super. early, so that's it's good. Super. Racing is traditionally a man's world, but not so much anymore. And you don't hear any more sniggering or comments under the breath about uh, these women if, jockeys. If, if someone says that, they're dumb. I've definitely encountered a few men over the years that didn't like uh, my success. <laughs> so uh, there, are, there are very few men that are comfortable with being beat by a woman. Here comes Forrest Boyce, a determined driver, driving right on by a cutie pie. 1,000 wins, Forrest Boyce. And Forrest is doing a lot of beating. In February, she had her 1,000th win. What happens when you win your 1,000th race? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you go back to work the next day. <laughs> And this is Forrest's point of view on a typical day at work. She is known for being among the very best riders on the turf or grass track. And it was on the turf, September of last year, that Forrest won on West Newton, a horse bred by the late Queen Elizabeth II. West Newton, West Newton. She won this race just two days after the Queen died, earning her the affectionate title the Queen of Maryland. It was a great feeling, and I got calls from all these people, you know, it was quite a big deal. Did you get calls from anyone in England? Yes, I did. <laughs> and they said? They, I was like, oh, that's really cool, and they were just like ecstatic by it, you know, they were astounded by it. If there's a sport with a horse, Forrest does it, and that may be what sets her apart from a lot of jockeys. Growing up in a horse family, riding all her life, Forrest really knows horses. She's a good horsewoman. You know, it's just not someone that gets on a horse and goes. She can get off a horse and tell you, you know, things that, that can help you help the horse. You're dealing with an animal, not a human, and you can't just say, hey, do this. Like, catch this when I throw it to you. <laughs> like, you're, you're doing your best to communicate with one another. These days, thank goodness, female jockeys have their own locker room at the track. But close to post time, Forrest gets ready for the sixth race near where jockeys get weighed out. Today, she will ride a horse she's ridden before, so a little study is needed before getting in line to make her way down the cramped staircase to the paddock to find her mount. Determined Blue, number two, is the filly. A little reluctant at the gate. It's a sixth place finish this time. They were just so quick. She's not running. Yeah. Early. If the horse does not win, the rider gets just over $100. And whatever Forrest earns, her agent gets 25%, her valet gets 5%. It is not an easy living. You've got to win. And she does. But after spending the day with her, I can say it is more than a living for Forrest. She clearly loves horses, loves riding, and loves racing. Is there any way to describe to me the ecstasy of it? There is no other feeling in the world 
you know, the energy, the it's just amazing. <laughs> and here they go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, as I was saying, Forrest is one of the top riders on the turf or the grass, but she doesn't want to be pigeonholed. She's also great on the dirt. And the next day, this is the way with racing, she had some wins, just the one that we happened to be here was a sixth place. But you know what? She's riding four races today. If you're coming out, she's in the second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth. Four times. She's getting on four different horses. Tomorrow, she's riding two horses. The woman is phenomenal. Four words. Don't bet against her. <laughs> Absolutely. I wouldn't. She, obviously, there, with 8% of jockeys being women, Forrest is among a group of women, and there are other women riders here at the, at the track that you can find. But um, I think what's wonderful is that they're showing they bring different skills, they bring, they bring different talents, and they're just as um, accomplished as male jockeys. That was fantastic. Thank you for being with us today. You're, I've been you thrilled. are epic. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. Back to TVO.